Hey everyone, and I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. For me, in this nighttime, it is currently 11.40. And I know I've been away for a while, but weird things were happening. Not paranormal weird, just normal weird, as normal weird can be. But I am back, and we are continuing our Washington DC tour. Now, I have been to this place inside and out. And I was actually looking up from the ceiling of the dome at this place, and it was absolutely beautiful. I wish I still had my pictures, but it was on my own phone, my own flip phone, and that one apparently doesn't work anymore. And there is a really cool spirit picture on there that I'm trying to get off, but it's not no matter what I do. So I gave my flip phone to my dad. Hopefully he can figure it out. But anyway, let's continue our tour. The U.S. Capitol building is one of the many iconic landmarks you can find in our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. This magnificent neoclassical landmark houses the administration branch of the United States government. New news um, videos in Washington, D.C. is making me rethink about history class. Why? <laughs> the House of Representatives and the Senate. With while most of the administration passes through here en route to the White House for a president's signature as a part of the Constitution process, even here, though, there are many of um, some otherworldly spirits adding their own touches to the process. The U.S. Capitol is a place where much of America's history was written, but the reports of ghostly activity and unexplainable happenings date back to the early years of American history. Not only will they expose some significant events that take significant events of independence that happen in the Capitol building, but they will also discuss some of the tales of tragedy, sorrow, and sorrow that has led to some of the stories of paranormal activity and chilling acts during some of America's darkest times. Approximately um, Apparently, the building sits in the Washington, D.C. neighborhood called Capitol Hill, a slight mound really only 88 feet above sea level. Specifically, the building sits on the eastern corner of the District of Columbia, facing the eastern side of the National Mall. Wait, there's a National Mall? How come I wasn't informed? Now, let me tell before I continue, I say I wasn't informed because it, I, you know, while since I looked at my research because of, like I said, of the random things going on, and now that I know there's a mall in D.C., I'm not even going to go trying to find it. As long as it's in a safe place in D.C., I'm, I'm one of those people right now. Anyway, the building itself was completed in 18... In 1800, setting the stage as the new home of the registration branch of the United States government to, to perform business. Prior to the U.S. Capitol construction, the U.S. State Congress met in two cities, Philadelphia and New York City. When, Phila when in Philadelphia, the Congress would meet in an in Independence Hall and Congress Hall. Upon the establishment of New York as its capital, Federal Hall and Nassau Street on the southern tip of Manhattan served as the meeting place. The distinctive dome that is made of cast iron and supports a reciprocal statues entitled Freedom that usually turns her back on the National Mall. Instead, she faces the majority of visitors that arrive 
from the east. Many additions have been made to the building, most recently a state-of-the-art visitor center, mostly under the Capitol building. It contains permanent exhibits, gift shops, and access to viewing galleries of both houses, as well as a large cafe and, court, and of course, security screening the area. The U.S. Congress wasn't officially established and named until the publishing of the U.S. Constitution. The first Congress convicted in New York City on March 14, 1789. On the same day, George Washington was inaugurated as the first President of the United States. When Pierre L. Affront was commissioned to design the capital city, he chose the site called Jenkins Hill as a place where the capital building will be built. At the on the at the outset, the front intended to name the building Congress House. However, the sensory sanitary serenity of State Thomas Jefferson wrote it was much fitting to name it the Capitol. The word is, no is based on the Latin temple known as the Temple of Jupiter on Capitoline Hill. The temple was located on what is known as one of the seven hills of Rome. While the, cities, while the city hosts the nation's capital was, was being laid out, it needed land to be reclaimed from the swampy marshland surrounding the new site. Thomas Jefferson also held a nationwide contest for architects to build their design for what the Capitol building and the President's House which will be later named the White House. Despite more than 10 designs being submitted, a late entry submitted by William Thorlin was selected by Jefferson and then the President and then President George Washington. Thorne's design was based on the eastern side of Laveau, the famous art gallery in Paris. Now, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. I'm not known at French. Eventually, this man Thorne at a place in history as he was named the first ever architect of the capital. In 1793, the cornerstone of the Capitol building was laid by George Washington, and constructing construction would soon begin. Sadly, Washington would not live to see the completion of the building, as he died in 19, 1799, the year before the building was finished. Over the years, Capitol not only housed chambers of Congress, but it also served as the site of the U.S. Supreme Court. From 1865 to 1935, the court was in the old Senate chamber until the building was constructed just down the road from the Capitol building. In 1850, another ex expansion began, which included one of the most iconic parts in the building that still stands today. The Capitol Dome. The dome was completed with the addition of the Statue of Freedom in 1863. Over the years, the building under, underwent many reservations and expansions. Today, the U.S. Capitol is frequently visited by many visitors from all over the world. And when I was there, laying on the floor of the Capitol building, looking up at the dome, I had my cousins from England coming. So that proves right there people from all over the world comes and sees this place. And if you're not, if you've never been to Washington or if you have never seen pictures of it, you need to. I mean, even the pictures do not do this building justice. It is a beautiful, beautiful building inside and out. Tours 
occur almost daily at those that take part and will learn about will learn about the history of the building and get a basic understanding of how the necessary branch of the United States government operates. Throughout history, there have been 11 people who have died on groups in the U.S. Capitol. On the grounds, not groups, I cannot run tonight. <laughs> While the deaths have been tragic, they, ha they set the stage for a host of stories and accounts of paranormal activity. On one of the first people to die building in the building was John Quincy Adams. He was the son of John Adams, the country's second president. The younger Adams will become, will become president in his own right. Upon his departure from the White House, the younger Adams remained in politics and a member of Congress. Always a president of operator, he, su he suffered a stroke while on the floor in the United States House of Representatives. He was moved by colleagues to the Speaker's room where he later died on February 23, 1848. He had been, there had been stories of the spirit the of an unknown Civil War soldier roaming the halls of the Capitol. During the war, the Capitol building served as a makeshift infirmary, also known as a hospital, for the Union, for Union's movement. I don't know how you say that one five times fast. Over 1,000 holts were placed in Sanitaria Hall, where 100 statues here supplied by each of the nation's 50 snakes. Mine, me. Hello? Did you guys? Did you guys hear something? I know I did through my headphones. Why is it every time I do these videos? I'm so glad I'm not doing it in my basement because my basement is not creepy, but once all the lights are out, I'm like, uh, no. Uh, that threw me off guard. Okay. Lines the edges of a great round room. It was said that several soldiers died in agony from injuries. However, the spirits of a particular soldier was said to have never left and be lurking in the Capitol Hall of Statues to this day. Several staffers have said that sometimes seeing the shadow of a soldier lurking, lurking among the statues. Let me know, since that happened, let me know if you guys see or hear anything in the background. I mean, that was loud. I, I really hope one of you guys heard that. I mean, it put him in a car, now that I think about it. I mean, this car so loud right now, and I don't know why. But it was right through my headphones, and I don't think I want to put in a car through my headphones. That was weird. Many members of Congress were dying in the hollowed hall hall halls in the Capitol over the years. On several nights at the Newsville Times, exposed a member of Congress in a torrid affair with his mistress. The reporter and congressman, William Pitson to me, I'm, no, I'm personally that name. Who later became a lobbyist, often met, met in the capital, and the journalist, a smaller man, was relentlessly teased by the former con congressman. The journalist reached the end of his teether one day and put a feud to a per permanent end. He confronted Tim Tom Lee on the Capitol stairs and saw a pistol into the soft fleshy ab ab abominant. It had been said that the stain on the stairs is the blood of the former Kentucky congressman. William 
Pinkton and that Tim Lee and that he may have remained on the staircase where he, where he was shot long after his death. If that's still there, the next time I go in the Capitol building, if I do, I am going to look for that. I mean, wow. And actually, I was at New Honey Wayne House when I went to Gettysburg. And if you remember when I read, went to you guys from my research, that her blood is still on the board, that she died on, her blood is still there. They have it in a cake in a glass case in one of the rooms and I'm just like whoa because that was her actual blood when she died a hundred and fifty some years ago the old Supreme Court part of the building is be was being constructed when John Menthol what the disturbed terror Clerk to architect Benjamin Jerome mistakenly removed a woman wooden support, thinking it unnecessary. Regrettably, it was in fact a support a large stone arch that, that after a moment hesitation came crashing down on him. He lay dying on the floor, and his last breath crossed the capital building and all who worked in it. It would then come as no surprise that many, that there may be many spectators lurking in the halls from the capital. There are things that make stories, um, that make stories about these er this eerie. I easy feeling some people cannot explain as they walk in the halls in the capital, on the capital, and on hours and scheduled areas. Now, when I was there, I wasn't as into the paranormal as I am now. I mean, I still believed, but I didn't know about any of it. Mm. And just know, okay, and just knowing that, and I'm like, I was, I've been in this building. <clears throat> These are the things that make stories about the eerie, uneasy feelings some people have. Some people cannot explain away as they walk through the halls in the capital at odd hours and scheduled areas. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. However, Erin could not be going to describe one apparition that walks the grounds and the halls. As in frequent appearance of a omen for events of American history that can only be described as some of our darkest hours. It was said that back in the 19th century, a black cat won a prowl the buildings of the U.S. Capitol. He would only be seen occasionally after, shortly after one of these sightings, something bad would happen only days later. This holds up quite well due to the amount of physical evidence discovered. Black hair was discovered, paw prints. Black hair not belonging to any of the congressmen or centers. The first such unearned was said to have happened in 1865 when a black cat was seen walking through the building. Two weeks later, President Adam Abraham Lincoln was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater. The demon cat was spotted once again prior to another na national disaster. The black Cat of destruction part its way around the capital once again in 1929, just prior to the Black Tuesday stock market cracks that led to the Great Depression. The last known sighting of the demon cat was in 1963, two weeks before the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Thank goodness there have been no reporting uh, sightings of DC. Um, Demon Cat himself 
sense. The United States Capitol building holds an course of American history as it wins its course through our times. And stories that we do not even know may be hiding in the marble corridors and must, must run around Maybe I'm just freaking myself out now. And was referred around the impressive structure. If you press your ears close to the wall, you can probably listen to the stories on the girls that roam the halls. Hmm. I might do that. The next time I go to... Hmm. Good idea. I have to write that down. Even if you don't have any imagination to believe in girls, then Capital Washington... The Capitol building in Washington, D.C. is a magnificent, magnificent place to visit. See, to visit and see democracy in action if you ever find yourself in the nation capital one of these days. So, number one, whatever that noise was, that happened. Number two, the Capitol building. I am not surprised at all that most of the older buildings in Washington DC was a really good handful of the mountain buildings. Or what in the hell? Hold on. Please tell me somebody saw that face in the window and please tell me that was a reflection. Please tell me. That was creepy. What the heck is going on right now? I might need a spirit box session one night. Let me know if you guys want me to want me to do that. So comment down below if you guys want me to do a spirit box session. But anyway, so I, like I said, I am not surprised at all that most of the buildings in Washington D.C. are haunted or have reports of hauntings. And the way I go through Washington D.C. and go to the Children's Hospital, ooh, that place has currently written all over it, even in the daytime. It has currently written all over it, and actually. Even I'm doing it now, thinking about it, but there's this house. I don't know where it, what it, what house it is. I know it's in the area, but we drive past it every time, going or coming, driving to or coming home from the hospital. I swear there's something evil in there. Because every time we go past it, I clench my wrist to the point where there's a red handprint on my wrist. I don't know what it is. That's one of those very old Victorian buildings. But, yeah. I'm I'm not surprised. With all this crap that happened in Washington, you see, even now, crap is happening. Um, but, thank you for watching my channel and videos. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And, as always, I am Haunted Girl, and this is my channel, and I'll spook you later. Until next time, have some dreams.